Um, but we'll see what happens with it. Of course, Man United um, continue to overachieve this weekend by by picking up another win and almost securing a uh, top four. I want to ask about the top four race, though. Sorry, can it... I... sorry, go on, mate. Go on, go on, go on. No, no, go on, go on, go on. I was going to say, is the top four race all but done now with United and Newcastle winning this weekend? Uh, so firstly, firstly yeah. sorry, Dad, I was going to say quickly, just on the Man United thing. Um, that was Aston Villa's first loss in 11 games. I think they've scored in every game since Unai Emery has come in, including, I think it was his first game against Man United. They beat us at Villa Park before the World Cup. Um, so anyone thinking, oh, it's just an easy win, that was a very good win and a very good clean sheet. Ollie Watkins have been on fire, and I don't even remember him having a chance. I know there's a few that we made clear off the line, but I don't know if it fell for him. Um, that was a very good win. So go on, yeah. Dale. Yeah, uh, now just yeah, your home form form is excellent. Like, uh, I'm looking at my United's fixtures. You've got Brighton away and West Ham away, where away from home, especially against the top nine. I know West Ham's not in the part of top nine, but Brighton in the top nine. Who's 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 Fulham. Fulham. Um, Fulham. We beat Fulham. Yeah, we beat we beat Fulham. Yeah. Why? So why we just top top nine? Because at one point it was top nine. Then they would be on top eleven, depending on where. I've never seen the league. Uh, it doesn't matter. Top nine. Okay, let's not dissect everything. Okay. Oh, uh, I want to dissect. <laughs> yeah, but you've got Brighton away and you've got West Ham, who are actually starting to do well now. That's where I'm a bit worried about my United. If they drop points against Brighton and West Ham and Liverpool are on a on a current form with the winning, I think won four games in a row now. Liverpool and I don't see Liverpool losing for the next couple of games. So Liverpool might do something, and then my United it might have a mental impact. I think. As, like, doubt, Liverpool. doubt, doubt. So you're watching Liverpool. That yes, they've won their last two games, but they've they've, they've, games. they've they've they've, they've yeah, but in the last couple of games uh, they have fallen over the line, and it's like wow, we won, and you've got no qualm with them winning the next two games. Man United have an imperious home form. By the way, we have the fifth best away form in the league, the fifth best in the league, and Newcastle. Let's listen. It's twenty four points we've got away from home. It's not the greatest away form in the world. No, nobody is de denying that, but. People are acting like we can't win away from home. The Brighton game, yes. But all our remaining games away from home are outside the top nine, which is the only yeah. teams that we're struggling against. So we've got one game left against away at a top nine team. The rest are against all the other types of teams we beat because they're outside the top nine away. And then at home for the other three. Why yeah. the devil are No, no, no. I, I still think, I still, I still think your favourite. is worse than ours. And I still think your favourites to uh, finish fourth position, but I'm just saying just, that's not certified. It's not 100% guaranteed. Liverpool, Liverpool might do something, so let's let's not get too excited. Yet. One percent chance, ninety nine percent faith. That's that's what we've got. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying about the Premier League title as well. One percent well, chance. But listen, Liverpool's faith. maximum points between now and seventy one. Seventy one. Yeah. We yeah. need we need three wins. So if we, we can we can lose points. we can lose all the away games uh, all away games. But if we keep a home form. And we will get top four. And that's provided Liverpool win every game between now and the end of the season, which, based on this season, is not... So we've got Wolves at home. We've got Fulham at home. We've got Chelsea at home. All outside the top nine. Oh, <laughs> yeah, all outside the top nine. Yeah, all and, outside the top and, nine. <laughs> and, then, and then we've got Bournemouth away. So for me, out of those four games... We should be able to get three wins. That's seven I know, but yeah, we, we, if you have that one second, I want to say one more thing about that. You're looking at the fixtures. We, I was an Arsenal fan when we looked at uh, Southampton at home, West Ham away, and um, who else did we have? Them two games, we fought easy three points. We the difference in between... But it's not, it's not about the... It's about the, you. the, the... Because you've got Liverpool, and if you lose against Brighton, the players might think, oh, yeah, shit, we might not finish the top four. We might have that mental... We are a trophy-winning team Dowd. this year. We you're, know what it takes to win. Dowd, you're doing an egal, though. What you're saying about Man United maybe getting it wrong is right, but you're 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 not applying the same logic to Liverpool, who have been far, who have been less consistent than Man United this year. I know, but but I remember that season when Liverpool had when they lost every single centre back, and they somehow finished in the top four. They somehow got a way to finish in the top four. It's when it comes to Liverpool and they just somehow do something. That's why I'm going to write break, them off. Yeah, down on that because Newcastle, of course, we've got a game in hand on Newcastle. Yeah. So you know, by based on maximum points available, they are more vulnerable than we are um, than uh, for the top four to Liverpool. They have to play Arsenal, you know, the great mighty Arsenal. They have to play um, Brighton. They've got to play Chelsea. And they, have to play, and they have to play Chelsea. I wonder what their record is against teams in the bottom half. Anyway, no. But <laughs> they've, got, they've got some, they've got decent games. Like, everyone, every, and I've been, this is why I've been so certain of top four for a while. 
you know, top third would be would be the best. But I have I'm not confident in Spurs, and obviously they're out of it now. Yeah, they're and I haven't been confident in Liverpool in terms of are they going to pick up enough more points than us? They may have picked up more points than us, you know, over the last ten games of the season from 20, from game week 28 to game 38. But they need to pick up like 10, 11 more points than us over that period. Guys, Liverpool we're conceded not six bad. goals in the last three games and we're sitting here assuming that... No, no, the only one sitting here questioning anything is, is Dowd. He's the only one. <laughs> He's yeah, the but only but one. Here's Don't the question, us. David. Here's the question. No, if, no. United, <laughs> if Man United... I, I believe Man United will get top four comfortably. I don't think Liverpool will win every game. It will be... Over if they win every game, that would be massive for them. But if Man United fumble this top four, is it a bigger failure than Arsenal losing the league? One million percent. I don't know how that is even. No, 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 no,
no trophies. Did he come fourth or third that year? Didn't yeah. compete. And, you know, this, after the second window where he just had more quality that could do what he wanted, they went and did a, a again, I'm not suggesting we're going to go, go and do a Centurion season next year uh, by any stretch. Because I think, you know, Ten Hag is a better, Ten Hag is not as good as Pep. And City were in a much better position when Pep came in. They were title winners only the year prior to that. You know, this team haven't won a title for 10 years. But yeah, I think I think we'll make up next year. And I kind of like the way people pull out that oh, no wins away from home against top nines. Ah, you don't kill teams off. For me, that should be something that is a slightly sobering fact for fans because when that gets fixed, this team's in a title race. That that's and how you fix it is 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 the, the exciting bit. But once we start get getting some more wins away from home against these top nine sides, everybody's made them this year. We've gone from a top six to a top nine, which I think we will next year. And we become more clinical up front by buying people. We kill more games off. Yesterday's match was only close because we didn't kill it off. You throw two more killers into that Man United team, you win that three or four nil. Suddenly you start winning another five, six, seven games by three or four goals. There's more of a fear factor around you. That also helps you when you go away. So I think it's a bit of a snowball effect with a lot of this. And um, there's still lots of areas for Man United to improve on. But, but I'm confident the top four, I don't think we're going to bottle it. I just would like some form before that FA Cup final because yeah. with the way City look right now, we're going to need to be um, in good in good form. And someone says, Terry, you said this season you'd be in a title race. People love to lie, don't they? I said we'd come in the top seven this year. Um, the, the evidence is there. Go watch it back. But I still stand he, he, by he, he said You said we win the League Cup, not the League. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. But I just look. Man United, have, I love how it triggers people when I say we've overachieved this season. All the same people that wrote us off are saying, no, you didn't. So it's it, it's just the, the butt hurt nature around Man United being. Well, we're, than... we're only in the top four because everyone's been so bad. But Arsenal are in a title race, regardless. I'm gonna of keep repeating else. this statistically. Yeah. There's only one team that surpassed seventy points that got top four in the like every team in this position would be in the top four, and it's just go look at the history. I, I don't know. people don't like to look at it. <laughs> but we have we have a saying for it now on the football terrace. Anyone that, that this will be anyone that comes on. But anyone that says like you're only you're only in a title race because two teams fell off this year, we're well, straight away we're gonna have a big banner that comes up that just says beta banter. You're getting called a beta banter <laughs> now because I'm so bored of the same moronic crap banter and mental gymnastics, you know, that people do, oh you're only you're only top this year because City Honor's good. You know, you mean we're better than them this year. That's it's I just can't stand it. It's it's really boring now, but there there we there we go. Um, viewers, with all that being said, I'll take a point at Brighton tomorrow. Yeah, I'll give you a point at Brighton right now. <laughs> I'm worried about that game, and then and then we are um all good. Uh, Terry, are you witnessing Ten Hag ball? Where's the sexy football? We've played some really good football this year, Twisted Bubba, and it's year one. Over the next couple of years, it will develop and it will get better and better. We're very very excited indeed. Uh, but most people predicted us coming anywhere between sixth and tenth this year. No trophies this year, and we're doing brilliantly well. So. Man United fans are happy. Uh, Dev here says Brighton will smash you and you'll fall off. People have been predicting us falling off. I've got to go and find the clip back from the last show we did in January after the window. And I said, does anybody think Man United can make it into the top four? It was a unanimous no from the entire panel. So we've not. this wasn't just people go, oh, but in the season, Terry, things change. In January, we were still being written off. So and yeah, then when, and then when Liverpool smashed us, it was it, didn't Egal say uh, the decline? We're going to start. Decline, the but this guy, this this guy Dev, respect to you, mate. He'll say you, you'll lose and then fall off. We get a draw and then make it, and we say, well, we overachieved based on your expectations. You'll say, no, you ain't. You can't overachieve with your squad, but you've written us <laughs> off. You don't think we're making it. This is the point. You can't banter at both ends of the spectrum. Oh, you've either got to say we're going to do it now and save that banter till the end. Or you banter now and admit you were wrong. You can't do it on both ends. It's, it's beta banter. That's what it comes down to, Dev. There Tom, I expect Liverpool to get top four. Yeah. <laughs> um, 